and multiple reports from North St. Louis County residents of a strange noise. Yeah, the source of that noise is still unclear and they brought their complaints to Contact 2's Mike Colombo. Guys, what is going on? A strange, low repeating noise in North St. Louis County makes many people extremely confused and worried. The low rumble sounds like a generator running in the distance. But this is not the first time this sound has appeared on Earth. It has confused people many times. What if I told you that in this video, you'll be revealed that this is an alarming sign of the terrifying future of humanity? The mysterious sound, annoying human. As recorded by the media channel Fox 2, they have received dozens of phone calls and emails from people on both sides of the river who say they hear a strange low repeating noise. People became extremely confused and scared because they did not know what terrible thing they were facing. What they can do is constantly share their fears and pray for a clear explanation. When you watch the video, let's listen carefully. Beyond the birds chirping, you can hear the same hum in the background. This sounds so, so low that it's almost inaudible, but super consistent. Usually in the evenings after eight, People in this area would hear a very low humming noise that would come in kind of a wave pattern. Some say that they can hear the hum from North St. Louis County home. Regional authorities have conducted checks around the area to find the source of this mystery sound. Nearby, you'll find a Marin's Portage de Sioux site and a Spire STL pipeline storage facility. Both utilities investigated and said it was not them. Same for the Corps of Engineers and Lambert Airport. Central Stone Company Quarry told St. Louis County, it's not doing anything during the hours people report hearing the hum. They also investigate everything from barge traffic to grain bins, an industrial gas company in Madison County, Illinois, and the Taos hum, but still cannot find the source of this nuisance noise. The odd, low repeating noise, still a mystery in North St. Louis County, a resident who grew up in a quiet area near the Missouri River told Fox 2 about the sound in 2022. The low humming noise in the evenings started in the beginning of that year. It is barely audible but consistent, lasts for hours, and appears to be fixed in its location. St. Louis County Councilwoman Shalonda Webb has also heard the noise and is working to determine its source. Investigations have been conducted at nearby facilities such as Ameren, Spire, and the airport, but the cause of the mysterious hum remains unknown. What is that hum? FY. The hum is a worldwide phenomenon that has many people searching for answers. The BBC reported on it in 2009, saying that the elusive low buzz has been blamed on everything from power lines and gas pipes to sinister forces. However, some of the reasons people hear the hum may come from inside their own heads. The strange sound that appears in North St. Louis County is also considered a hum. Let me show you where these strange sounds used to appear. A website run by former University of British Columbia lecturer, Dr. Glenn McPherson, is dedicated to mapping the hum and sharing reports from people around the world. He first noticed the sound in 2012 and wanted a place to research the sound. People report the location, timing, and nature of the noise. They also share information about themselves, such as age, medications they take, if they suffer from hearing loss, and more. Because of its appearance, disappearance, and mysterious origin, the existence of this sound is always a question mark. People discovered some new leads and closed the door on some other theories. McPherson says that there are four theories about the source of the hum. One theory suggests that very low frequency radio frequencies are activating the human auditory system, while another proposes that the accumulation of low frequency sound from human activity is responsible. A third theory suggests that the hum is caused by geological processes. Finally, there is a theory that the hum is an internal body process similar to autoacoustic emissions and tinnitus. He believes the latter theory is the most probable. 
Someone says Missourians have suddenly developed super hearing and are now sensitive to certain sounds. That theory by experts also doesn't explain the loud booms we heard in the Hannibal, Missouri, or Quincy, Illinois area before. Some theorize that these sounds are machinery working on deep underground tunnels in the soft rock of Missouri. Maybe someday we'll get an official report by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, who were the last ones to investigate this. An expert says that he believes about a third of the cases come from an environmental source like a refrigerator, an industrial fan, or a nearby factory. The Bristol Hum made headlines in the 1970s. One newspaper asked readers in the city, Have you heard the hum? Almost 800 people said they had. People complained about sleep loss, headaches, sickness, and nosebleeds. Many experts believed that it was noise coming from traffic and factories. French scientists claimed that it was continuous waves causing the ocean floor to vibrate. But that may not be the source, and it persists to this day. Sound from the Heaven When people heard the hum, they would definitely be kind of freaked out and would be looking for some type of explanation for the mysterious sound. When the source of this strange sound could not be found, people thought of another possibility. That was not a sound made by humans or machines, but the sound from the Holy Spirit. Listeners describe them as metallic groans, angelic harmonies and trumpets blaring from the sky. Some say it's a sound from heaven like the roar of rushing waters, or it is the sound of God. For almost a decade, these sounds have been heard all over the world. Many believe the sounds are the trumpets of God's angels, a warning of the end and a sign of God's presence here on earth. It reminds us a time when God made his presence on earth heard. Once to Moses at Mount Sinai, where he gave the people of Israel the Torah, and then again when the Holy Spirit descended upon Jesus Christ's followers. Some believe the trumpet sounds are the beginning of the end, the end of times, and the opening of the seven seals, there are plenty theories, such as the shifting of tectonic plates, minor earthquakes, changes in the Earth's core, solar flares, aliens, an angry god, and even the sound of an approaching meteor. Strange sounds in the sky, preachers prophesying the end of the world, hundreds of birds falling from the sky, droughts, solar flares, and rumors of an impending meteor impact. Could the trumpet-like sounds be the coming of the apocalypse? Revelation 4, 1 After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. Could these sounds be the voice of angels bringing about the last days and a return of Christ to earth? Sound of the End Times Many people believe that this hum is the sound of a trumpet. But some people object, saying that the trumpet's sound will be louder and clearer while the hum is low, feeling like it is suppressing something. But those who have the opinion that it is a trumpet think differently. They say that, Although this sound is not clearly the sound of a trumpet, but because you cannot hear it clearly, how do you know it is not the sound of a trumpet? Maybe it's letting us hear it in a different form. If this is truly the sound of a trumpet, then it is very likely that this is a sign of the last days. When God gave the law on Mount Sinai, His presence was accompanied by a very loud trumpet blast, causing everyone in the camp to tremble. It later intensified, and the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder. The rapture of the church will occur at a time when the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. Jesus said that at his second coming, he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds. Jesus also spoke of fearful events and great signs from heaven, and during the tribulation, there are seven angels who had the seven trumpets. Every time one of these angels blows a trumpet, a new judgment befalls the earth. Those who look for a harbinger of the end 
Times often refer to the sky trumpets as trumpets of the apocalypse. However, we know that these sounds, whatever they are, are not the last trumpet mentioned in 1 Corinthians 15.52 because the rapture has not yet occurred. We also know that the sounds cannot be the seven trumpets of Revelation because the tribulation is not yet upon us. The most probable explanations for the sky trumpets biblically would be that they are either natural or man-made. Whether these unidentified sounds are the work of pranksters, the effect of changes to our planet's magnetic field, or the evidence of a sinister global plot, the fact remains that we just don't know. No one knows for sure what part, if any, sky trumpets will have in the end times. We do know this. The days before the rapture will be characterized by increasing wickedness and widespread false teaching. After the rapture, the deception and wickedness will grow even worse. The only way to escape this confusion is to be born again and live in hope of the imminent coming of Jesus Christ for the Church. The Mysterious Global Hum Up to 4% of people around the world are thought to hear the strange, low-pitched noise. Its actual source is unknown, though many hearers are in urban areas, suggesting it could be some form of noise pollution. Anecdotes came thick and fast as hum hearers shared their experiences and tried to describe it. An endless riff of heavy metal music. Difficult to say if felt or heard, said one. An unmistakable mechanical whirring hum, said another. Locations varied, from the Cheshire countryside in the UK, to Chichagoff Island off the coast of Alaska, to a high-rise apartment block in Sydney, Australia. You can look at the map of McPherson for details. It's not the first time a hum has hit the headlines. In 2016, residents in the Canadian city of Windsor were plagued by a puzzling noise. A study later confirmed it was likely to be coming from a U.S. steel plant's blast furnace operations on nearby Zug Island. While there was debate about whether the hum is in fact tinnitus, Glenn McPherson has been investigating the hum's source, said, As several posters mentioned, classic tinnitus is profoundly different from the worldwide hum. While it must be stressed time and again that there are many sounds created by human activity that can sound like the hum, and it takes some effort and knowledge to track those sounds down, they range from electrical noise, pumps, industrial machinery, and so on. Once we eliminate those sources, we are left with the worldwide phenomenon. People don't think it's tinnitus because that's a very high-frequency sound. One lives in Bristol and started hearing this many years ago. He has been following the subject avidly since and very familiar with Glenn's research. For all those flippantly pointing the finger at tinnitus or some other yet unexplained internally produced phenomenon, explain this. He can completely eliminate the hum by using silicon earplugs. The hum I hear is largely omnipresent, but only indoors. Often it starts at a certain time, usually between 10 p.m. to 1 a.m., but it also can be present throughout the day. It's around the range of 50, 60 hertz. And one lives in central Liverpool and could often hear this strange hum in the middle of a quiet night. To him, it sounded like a large diesel engine, probably a ship or a train, both of which would be close by. However, after suffering this for months at a time, he decided to do proper research into ship and train movements to try and isolate the cause, discovering that it was neither. This humming sound appeared in 2011 in Floria. A woman heard the rumble. At first, she thought it was an airplane. But after it lasted more than two minutes, she began to get nervous. The rumble sounded like a space shuttle was taking off, but it had somehow froze in mid-flight. It's very frightening as if you are experiencing an earthquake, but with no movement. Also, one more thing to add. The rumble took place on a cloudy night sometime around 10, 11 p.m. The same sound also happened in Texas. It sounded like a jet flying over, really high except that it went on for so long that it couldn't have been a jet flying in a straight line, maybe in a big circle or something. Also, one occasion there were clouds. On the other occasion, it was a clear blue sky. 
nothing in sight at the time, to make that noise. One once heard an extremely strange sound in Pennsylvania. Sounded like a flying saucer from one of those old movies. A whoosh, whoosh, whoosh sound over and over, and it was covering blocks and blocks, about a mile within city limits. No one could tell where it was coming from. It sounds like the groaning electrical noises are coming from the earth below humans. Other heard it last night from about 11 p.m. to about 11.20 p.m. in S.E. Quebec, Canada. The air was absolutely still, sounded like a moaning. Still in Canada, but now it's in Vancouver. People have been hearing these hums a lot lately, mostly at night. They are wondering if it's Yellowstone. God knows how many lava tunnels this beast has underground. All these quakes around the world, the pressure on this beast must be massive. And many similar phenomena have been recorded as well. Audible and inaudible sounds. The day God chose to create light was the day music began. Light and sound travel through the medium of waves. Moving light waves are called electromagnetic waves. The wavelength of an electromagnetic wave determines which type of wave it is. As humans, we're only able to see 3% of the entire light spectrum, and part of the 97% of invisible light is categorized as electromagnetic waves. Within electromagnetic light exists a range of wavelengths called radio waves. Within this category of radio waves exists an even smaller range of waves that humans can hear. Essentially, we know that these categories and forms of light and sound fall within the same spectrum. The first time, God said, let there be light. He was also proclaiming the beginning of sound. We are the only ones made in His image. We are the creatures God chose to give free will to accept or reject His sound breathing in us. The wind does not have a will, and neither does fire nor water. Man has been given a will because man has been given a soul. Therefore, we have a choice to align our sound with the sound of heaven, while the other elements remain inanimati. Fear simply sounds like fire, wind sounds like wind, and water sounds like water. Man sounds like man, but we have been given the creative ability to release the sound of God. We cannot begin to understand sound until we realize that we are unable to hear most of the sounds that exist. We are continually in the presence of ultrasonic and subsonic sound waves. Ultra, which means above, are sound waves above our threshold of hearing. Sub, which means beneath, are waves beneath our threshold of hearing. Just because we don't see the wind doesn't mean it's not there. Just because we don't hear a sound does not mean it was never made. N have you ever thought about why there's such a difference between a guitar and a trumpet? Or how about a trumpet and a cornet? What makes a trumpet sound like a trumpet and a cornet sound like a cornet? It all has to do with the vibrations reflecting off different pieces of matter in the instrument. The vibrations coming out of a trumpet are different from those coming out of a cornet they have a different rate, frequency, or even length. Therefore, a rounder, softer sound out of a trumpet and a higher, more direct sound from a cornet occurs. The sound produced by an instrument has everything to do with the size and texture of the material of the instrument from which it's reflecting. Every instrument ever made is unique, for it contains its own sound. Sound through God's creation becomes individual and therefore dependent upon the instrument. With our hope for glory, Christ dwelling in us, we produce a sound that's been in us since the beginning of time. We bring to life the full meaning of Emmanuel, Christ with us, Christ revealed in us. Then it was revealed in my hearing by the Lord of hosts. Christ will be revealed as we hear his sound and release our individual, God-appointed sound as his unique instruments. Christ in you, the hope of glory. The word glory means lightified. From this, we can deduce that Christ in you is the hope of being lit or the hope of being sounded. Christ is your hope of producing the sound that has resided in you since the beginning of time. 
Your sole purpose of existence as a worshiper of God is to be the personal instrument He created you to be and played for His glory. With the very truth of the living Christ is the assurance you will be played before God. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 9 to 10 says, I has not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love Him. But God has revealed them to us through His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the very things of God. As we talk about the sound of heaven, it's essential to understand that our eyes have not seen and our ears have not heard. Our soulish eyes and ears cannot take in the truth of God, but it is His Spirit within us, Emmanuel, that reveals. God desires to release a sound that our issues cannot resist. The sound God desires to release will chase religion from the church and bring truth. He desires the sound of many waters, the sound of mighty thunders, and the sound of His glory and authority in the church. Sound of Worship Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. Okay, if faith comes by hearing, then what does it sound like? Chances are, that's the strange sound you're hearing. It is simply the sound of someone speaking a word. It is the word of God being spoken to your heart. Note that it is a spoken word and not a read word. The Greek word for word in this verse is rima and can be translated loosely as a spoken word or a proclaimed message. It is personal word from one person to another. Jesus said that the Holy Spirit would take His words and speak them to us, and that the Holy Spirit would show us things to come. Paul said that the Holy Spirit would show us the things that are freely given to us. But when He, the Spirit of truth, comes, He will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on His own. He will speak only what He hears, and He will tell you what is yet to come. Now we have received, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. God the Holy Spirit is the one who is actually speaking the word of faith to us. It comes from Him directly to us. He makes real to our heart the scriptures we have fed on. He breathes life into the scriptures that we have put into our heart. When we plant the seed of His Word into our heart and we protect it and cultivate it, it will produce a harvest of abundance. The hearing of faith is the sound of the Word of God coming alive in our heart. Faith comes alive when the Word read from the page becomes the Word heard in our heart. Speak the promises in the Word of God out of your mouth. Confess them until you believe them and believe them until you receive them. You believe them when they come alive to you. They come alive to you when you hear them in your heart. We can't recognize it or hear it with our heads. Our spirit, the hidden man of the heart, is where we hear it. Our spirit is where we hear everything that God speaks to us. Our spirit can hear His voice and recognize it. It knows the voice of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit speaks the words of Jesus. Jesus is the author and goal of our faith. This hearing of faith is God's sovereign stamp of approval upon the things we are hoping for, His presence graced upon our seeking, and His witness placed upon our request. It is the witness of heaven upon our desires, hopes that give them spiritual reality, legal substance, and eventual visibility. Faith is a heart-received sanction by the sovereign of heaven, given the moment His will for a specific promise has been met. Seek Him and hear Him and receive His will for you. Our actions will reveal the direction of our thoughts. Don't allow yourself to be poured into the mold of the present thinking, value systems, and conduct of this world. Instead, be transformed. Stay solid in what you believe so you have the confidence to teach others the truth. God is revealed in Christ and we are redeemed to God in Christ through His blood. Christ is glorified on high, and we are blessed in Him. The faith centers in the Son of God, and the Spirit enables the children of God to abide in Him in faith, affection, and intelligence.
that our joy may be full, while true edification in love is promoted according to the Word of God. As with any unanswered phenomena, conspiracies and theories abound about what the source of the strange sound from the sky is. Some say it is actually coming from the earth and not from the sky. Some say that the hum is a sign of Jesus' return. Others say it is related to weather wars, chemtrails, or is a sign that the earth is troubled. No matter what is it, these are all signs of your awakening. It is the cry of nature or God's reminder he is trying to say something to you, and he wants you to really listen.